Hey, this is Fred from The Fly Project, and I'm gonna talk briefly about five of my favorite trout spay flies. These are the flies that I am currently fishing and anticipate will probably be fishing here for the next several months. We have uh, a couple choices here that are built on the intruder style platform or essentially they're tied on a shank and one of the neat things about this style fly is it provides a lot of space for moving parts um, intruder style flies have a lot of motion in the water uh, another thing is the trailing hook depending if the uh, construction allows it, if it's, if it's a long enough trailer, you can actually swap that hook out. If you dull it up after uh, catching lots of fish or hitting the bottom, you can literally just take it right off the loop that it's on and pop a fresh hook on there. So that does uh, provide a little more longevity for some of your flies. This little guy is called the uh, Mini Montana Intruder. It's uh, one of our fly project patterns that uh, I came up with some years ago. It's become a very popular uh, little trout spay fly. It's got a, a lot of flash and a lot of, um, you know, real strong minnow profile in the water. So this one's definitely a favorite. Uh, well, one interesting thing that, uh, that I've noted in, uh, in my fisheries here in Montana are that uh, there's a difference between the way rainbow trout and brown trout often eat the fly. And I find that these intruder style flies typically work very well for brown trout. They tend to just take the entire fly in their mouth and that hook finds a nice purchase. Rainbows on the other hand are often a little bit more nitpicky. They will nip, they will slash, they will bump the fly. And oftentimes that trailer hook either rolls to the side or just doesn't seem to find purchase. And so several of my uh, favorite flies are designed on a jig hook. And it seems like when they snap on that jig hook, it's just more likely to find purchase in the roof of their mouth. And uh, I like to get more, more hookups when that's possible. So um, this is one of our favorite flies. It's called the Bam Bam. And it's just a little minnow fly. It doesn't have a lot of flash. It's just a real natural um, fly that seems to just catch fish in all conditions. Then if I'm looking for a little more flash, we have this one here that we call the Flaraboo. And it's got Marabou on it. Um, it's actually similar in construction to some intruder style flies, but it is built on that jig hook. And then it's got a little bit of flash. So hence, hence the Flaraboo. But this one has been a, a really solid player for a couple of years. And then before those two flies came along, our, uh, our standard was the Flashaboo. This one is tied with Flashaboo. This is the Flash and Grab. And uh, this fly is probably one of our top selling flies. It has been for a number of years. Uh, in the uh, winter months when you generally have lower light, this black and copper and a little bit of red just seems to be a great trigger. So when I want a little bit more flash, but it's uh, darker conditions, this is the one I reach for. So these are my top five trout spay flies for this week and uh, going on into, uh, into uh, the fall and the winter. You can find all these flies at flyproject.us. Tight lines. <laughs>